Hello everyone, I am back. I'm back from my honeymoon. It's really nice to be back and today is Tuesday and I have no video planned for tomorrow. Obviously if you saw the whole Red Out comic relief thing, my Sunday video went up a day late so I wasn't sure whether to put something up tomorrow or not and then I thought actually I just want to sit down and say hey and catch up. I don't know if I've ever really done a video like this before. Before I carry on with this video, I have a favour to ask. I really want to film a Q&A video. I haven't done one in quite a while. So please, please leave a comment on this video with any kind of question. I normally ask on Twitter or Instagram, but I realise that I'm making this video to put it on YouTube. So I want you guys who are watching my videos to ask me the questions. And especially those of you who don't usually comment. I know so many people watch videos and don't comment and that is fine. But I really want you guys to have a chance. If you have anything to ask me or anything you want me to discuss, Hopefully there'll be some interesting ones. Don't be shy, you can literally ask anything. But I really want to do a Q&A video. I think they're really fun. So please go leave me a question in the comments box. But I was about to do my makeup for the day and I thought I would combine a few different things in this video. One, catch up with you guys and tell you about our honeymoon because so many of you asked if I could make a video about it and I was gonna do like a proper sit down video with Rich but it's just not gonna happen because he works full time so I thought I'll talk about it in this video. Two, I was gonna make like a video on my honeymoon hot climate makeup routine. I didn't really wear makeup much but when I did in the evening um, I really liked it, so I think I'll show you that in this video. I'll just chat to you whilst I'm doing my makeup. I'm hoping this camera is okay because this is the one we took away with us and Rich got sun cream all inside the camera. Like the sun cream exploded in his bag and the lens was covered. Like our whole video, I made a video just for us for our honeymoon and like every shot it's got like a blurry lens because it's got sun cream on it. But yeah, the video is so nice. We made like a little video. I didn't really do like talking to camera. I just filmed a few clips and put it together and I think it'll be really nice. So thank you to you guys because a lot of you said that you love watching your parents' honeymoon video and that I should definitely make one. So I did and it's really special and I'm glad I did and I took loads of photos as well. Okay, I'm gonna start doing my makeup and chat to you about our trip. So if this video isn't interesting for you guys, just kind of skip it and come back on Sunday for the next video. I'm definitely the minority. When I'm on holiday or in a hot climate, I wanna look as glossy and dewy and sweaty as possible. I know that most people wanna kind of mattify their skin because they're in a hot climate, but I find that I just don't wanna look like I'm wearing loads of makeup because I think that looks kind of weird. So this is my kind of minimal makeup that I did on a few evenings when we went out. For the first part of the trip, I didn't wear any makeup at all, just when I wanted to kind of spruce up a little bit. So obviously I'm using my IT Cosmetics CC cream because it's so dewy and hydrating and lovely. And I literally just like put a tiny bit on. I mean, I've completely lost my tan and my dark circles have already returned. But on holiday, I didn't need much. I just put a little tiny bit. So let me tell you about our trip. For those of you who are interested, for anyone who's planning on going to South Africa or just planning on booking a honeymoon, it was absolutely incredible. We actually used a travel agent called Audley. Um, me and Rich are not travel agent people at all. We never use them. I think I used to use them when I was like 16, just because I was like lazy and I didn't want to do it myself. But I actually really enjoy planning a holiday. The reason we use the travel agent is because one, we're both very busy at the moment, but also we were going to a country that we've never been to and planning on traveling around a lot. So it was quite overwhelming. We were getting lots of different recommendations from people and we thought, look, if we just go to a travel agent where there's an expert on that country, it'll just be easier. So I wouldn't use them again if I was going back to the same place just because now I know it, but it was really helpful for our first trip there. That's about all the tinted moisturizer that I'm gonna put on a really thin layer. So we had two weeks to play with and I think our attitude was let's see as much of South Africa as possible. Now looking back, there's definitely some things we would do differently. There were areas we wish we'd spent more time in and areas we wish we hadn't maybe have gone to. In general, as an overall look of the trip, we did safari, Cape Town, and then the garden route. If I were to go back, I wouldn't do the garden route. I'm glad we did but it wasn't my favorite part of the trip. I wish I'd spent more time in Cape Town. I also think the route we did was a bit kind of back and forth and it meant that I had to go on more internal flights, which by the way, South African internal flights are bloody scary. I think because it's so windy there or the planes are very small, they were very scary flights and I feel like I could have avoided that if we'd done like safari garden route Cape Town rather than safari Cape Town garden route and then all the way back to Joburg. We started with safari. I think I'm gonna do a blog post and actually list all the places we went to because 
talking like this will just get really confusing. By the way, I'm gonna put on a bit of concealer. This is the Urban Decay Naked Concealer. As I said, I didn't really have dark circles when I was away, but I'm just gonna put a little bit here. That's kind of what I did. So we started in Safari. We went to a place called Garonga Safari Camp. And I'm not 100% sure on this, but I'm pretty sure that if you go to Kruger, it's like a public reserve, which means that anyone with a license can go, which I think, I'm really sorry if this is wrong, but I think you have to stick to the main roads. And when you, when you see animals, you can only look at them from afar. But if you go to a private game reserve, which this one was a private one, you can go off road and you can track animals and really like go and find them. For any of you that are wondering, it was so like, I was a bit worried. I thought, oh, am I gonna like safari? Is it a bit weird? <clears throat> Is it a bit weird to drive and stare at animals and kind of disrupt them? Is it gonna be unpleasant for them? But it really wasn't. Like apparently they just see the car as a one big object and they're very used to seeing them. So they're not, I, did, I didn't see any animals that seemed distressed at all. It was incredible. We went on two drives a day first one we woke up at like half five in the morning and then there was another one in the evening and in between you just get to chill out the weather wasn't amazing um in that part of south africa so we didn't get much pool time which meant the day was a little bit boring but the drives were so incredible the rangers were so lovely and so talented and brilliant they've done like years and years of exams and i said don't you get bored of doing this every day and they were like we're living our dream which is just so nice to hear the actual um camp itself was amazing the place we stayed was like that hotel was wasn't a hotel a camp it was incredible and you could hear the monkeys and hyenas at night it was so loud and you'd wake up in the morning there'd be like elephant poo right outside your room which was terrifying i kind of have too much to say about that i'm gonna have to put it in a blog post because that hotel was outstanding i keep saying hotel it wasn't a hotel it was like a camp we saw all the big animals we didn't see hyenas but we saw rhino we saw white and black rhino giraffe zebra cheetah leopard lion elephant we were so so lucky and i took loads of photos and i just loved safari oh, it was incredible then we went to cape town and we only had two full days there we stayed in a lovely hotel i really really liked it but i wish i'd had more time one of the days we saw a friend for lunch and then kind of walked around the V&A and it was like kind of a walking chill day. Had the most incredible food. The food in Cape Town is unreal. And then on the other day we had like a private tour guy who took us like to Cape Point and to Boulders Beach to see the penguins and we drove around the whole day seeing like loads of stuff. So that was a really cool day. I just wish we'd had more time in Cape Town. Okay, next I'm going to use this cream bronzer from YSL which I'm so obsessed with. It just gives you like a glowy bronze look. I find that powder bronzer is just too powdery for when I'm away. So Cape Town was brilliant. I wish we'd had more time there, but it's the sort of place I would definitely go back. It's an 11 hour flight, which is long. But if you do it overnight, you just have to sleep on the plane and then there's no jet lag. Depending on what time of year you go, there can be no time difference. Um, when we went, there was a two hour time difference, which is just nothing, which means you don't lose like a couple of days off the trip at the beginning and the end. So I really do think it's like the perfect holiday destination. I don't know why it's taken me so long to go there, but I would definitely go back. You can just go for like a week's holiday because of the time difference and it's really affordable when you're there. Well, for English, for UK people, it's affordable. The flights are expensive, but um, when you're there, it's cheap. By the way, talking about expensive, not expensive, this whole trip was expensive. It was our honeymoon. It's something we saved for. It's not what we would spend on a normal holiday, just in case you guys are wondering. Look how nice this bronzer is. I put it on my cheekbones and across my nose, and I love it. And it looks really natural, like you just have a tan. After Cape Town, we rented a car and drove to Franschhoek, which is the wine region. We stayed in a beautiful place called Le Petit Fermier, and we had a few days there. I think we had too many days there. The landscape and the surroundings were absolutely beautiful and I loved that about it. Honestly, I was a little bit disappointed in like the wine tours because my impression was, was that we were gonna get to have like a tour of the vineyard and learn about how they make the wines and I thought it'd be more educational, but you kind of just go to each vineyard and you just sit at a table and they bring you wine to drink, which if you're like really into drinking, I guess it's like fun. And I think if we were with a group of friends, it would have been more fun, but we're not massive drinkers. So it was a bit like, mm, I would have been more interested in learning about the wine rather than just drinking it. So that was weird. I think that's something they could improve on as a whole. 
but um, Franschuk was really pretty. And then we started kind of the drive down the garden route. We, as I said, we only had two weeks, so we couldn't stop everywhere. The first place we stopped was Wilderness. Let me continue with my makeup, otherwise I'm never gonna get this done. The first place we went was called Wilderness, and we didn't love it, but I think there were a few things that went wrong. So I don't know if it's the place we didn't love or just like the overall experience. When we got there, we checked into our hotel and we both were just like, no, this is not right. Um, to be fair, we stayed in so many places. It would have been hard if we'd got every single one perfect. I think that would have been quite unlikely. It was just a little bit too rustic. Um, when I was traveling, when I was younger, I would have been absolutely fine with it. But it was a honeymoon and we wanted something luxury and we wanted a bathroom that didn't feel gross and we didn't want like ants everywhere. I don't know, it just wasn't, it wasn't right. So we kind of left that hotel and went to a local nearby hotel that was better, but it wasn't great. We hiked the waterfall when we were in wilderness and it was beautiful. Like the, the everywhere you go in South Africa is beautiful because you have like the mountains and the sea and the river and there's just so much to look at. So that was great, but we are such idiots and we forgot to take water with us. And I was okay because I don't really sweat that much. I don't really drink that much anyway, but Rich is quite a sweaty guy and he got really bad heat stroke and it was so, so bad, like to the point where he was like shivering because he felt so cold, but he was boiling hot and I had to cover him in wet flannels and he had to have cold showers. And then without going into too much detail, there was three days of disastrous side effects that kind of ruined that part of the trip for him. I felt really bad for him. By the way, pause for makeup. I'm gonna use this Clarins blush, which I just love. This is what I used when I was on holiday. I just went like this, one, two, and then blended it out. So Rich wasn't well, we had the hotel disaster, and that kind of ruined wilderness for us. So we moved on from there. We stopped at Swellendom just for lunch, um, which was cool, and went on to Plettenberg Bay, which we really, really liked. I didn't realise when booking that Plettenberg Bay is kind of split into two. You have like the ocean side and the river side. And when we got there, we were a bit gutted that we weren't near the ocean because it just, it looks so beautiful. And it, I like that kind of fresh ocean air. We were more near the river, which felt a bit more inland. And by that point, we were kind of done with the whole like wilderness feel. But once we got to our hotel, which was called Emily Lodge, we were just like blown away with how incredible it was. It's like Soho House in the middle of, kind of South Africa, it's it kind of very eclectic and amazing. Like we loved the hotel, so it was worth kind of not being near the sea for that. And we had a couple of really nice days on Pleto Bay. We went to the beach, we found some really nice restaurants. That was kind of our chill time because we've been traveling around so much, we just wanted to take it easy for the end of the trip. And then from there, we flew back from George all the way back to Joburg to fly home, which was a bit backwards and silly. I took this with me away. It's the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector liquid in opal and this just gives you like wet highlighted looking skin oh it's, it's always so hard to get like a little bit out but i just like pat that on my cheekbones and like down my nose so overall the trip was incredible like i absolutely fell in love with south africa i would recommend it to anyone who's thinking of going just for a holiday or for a honeymoon it's really good because there's so much you can do you can have like the relaxy beach vibes and you can have the more active holiday and it's just a mix of everything i loved it because the food was so great as well. I always find when I go on holiday, like I have to sacrifice good food. I'm so used to like amazing London style food. I go away and I'm always a bit like disappointed, but the food in South Africa was incredible, better than it is in London. I've got so many restaurant recommendations. We just had a brilliant time. If you have any questions about the honeymoon, um, leave me a comment and I'll try and get back to you on that. Obviously we're not gonna say exactly how much it costs because that's just weird, I don't, I'm not really like that, but any kind of details on what we did and how we planned it, just let me know. I took this with me, it's MAC Groundwork, and I just used my finger to put a little bit of that on my lids, just like a bit of, bit of shadow. I don't know if any of you guys follow me on Instagram, but um, I did use Instagram stories whilst I was away. I was going to do like a no social media thing, but then I figured I'm in this amazing country that lots of people probably aren't able to visit. And I wanted to share it. I feel like I just, it took me like a few seconds to just take a photo and share it. So it wasn't like taking away from the honeymoon at all. Rich didn't mind at all. I wasn't like doing emails and stuff. So that was really nice to share that. I hope you guys saw some of that on Instagram stories. Okay, the final step is this mascara from Tarte. It's the Lifted 
confusing because they've got one called Gifted, but this is Lifted and it's a black brown mascara and it's sweat proof. I don't know what the difference between sweat proof and waterproof is, but I got on really well with this when I was away. I haven't really decided what to do about the whole Instagram stories versus Snapchat thing. I didn't Snapchat at all whilst I was away, so it's the first time I've had like a massive two week gap um, break from Snapchat. And honestly, I think like a lot of creators are struggling to do both just because they're so similar. And I've had a lot of feedback from you guys saying that you prefer kind of chatty snaps like on Snapchat and then more kind of edited photos on Instagram stories, which completely makes sense, but it's just kind of hard to do both. There's so many things now to keep updated with. It's just hard to feel like you're not repeating content and spending your whole time like on your phone and not doing other things. So I'm not really sure what to do, but I think the reason why everyone's in a bit of a predicament is not just because like, which one do you prefer? It's because Instagram stories get so many more views, obviously because people's following is bigger on Instagram and Snapchat's like so small and niche and it's so hard to find people, it's quite hard to grow on there. So it's kind of makes sense business wise to do Instagram stories and it's easier, but I also don't like doing too many stories on Instagram. Whereas on Snapchat, you can kind of be more chatty. At the moment, I'm kind of just doing Instagram stories, but maybe every now and again, I'll Snapchat. I don't really know, I haven't quite decided. So that's my honeymoon makeup. It's, whoa, I think I put too much highlighter on. I didn't do that when I was on holiday, but I like to look glowy and glossy and my eyes are very simple and everything's simple. I think it took so long because I was talking. When I actually did this on the honeymoon, it was like a five second routine. I know I've only been away for two weeks, but this is the first holiday in like four or five years that I've been on where I didn't take my laptop. So it feels like epic to me. It feels like I've been away for so long. So it's just fun being back. I have a new video coming on Sunday morning. So don't forget to check back for that video and I will see you guys then. Don't forget to please ask me a question so I can start collecting them for the Q&A video. Thank you so much and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.